Greetings guys, La Architects here and welcome to my channel. As per requested by one of my uh, subscribers, today's tutorial is about uh, how to add dimensions to Revit sections and elevations. I want to point out that one, uh, when you start using Revit as a beginner, this command could be quite, uh, it can be quite confusing because it's one of the easiest, also one of the most complicated commands out there if you're not uh, careful. So I'm going to show you the trick to the madness. So let's get to it. So in order to add dimensions to the section, you have to come to modify and then on the dimension sign, you click on the right side. There are many dimensions. There is aligned dimension, linear dimension, angular, etc. When adding dimensions, it doesn't matter if it is on, uh, on the floor plan or the elevation or the section. I would always recommend you to go with aligned dimensions. Once you do that, you can go to the left where you can select where you want the, the dimension line to work from. If you want it from wall center lines, you select that. Let me show you what that will do. It will venture from wall center line to wall center line. However, if you want to measure it from wall faces to wall faces, you should not select the wall center line command. We should always go with wall faces to wall faces. So let's select that and go to wall faces. Let's say we want to make from le level to level dimensions quite easy. Once you've selected your dimension aligned and then wall faces to wall faces, just come in here and measure it like that. Click on the lines, on the level lines. And that's it. Once you're done, just bring it up a little bit and click. And here you have your uh, dimensions from level to level. Now, if you don't have a level and you don't know how to make levels, it's quite easy. Just go to architectural and come all the way down to datum and click on level. And you just draw your level from there. And here, that's how you make a level. That's that. So let's get to the second part now of making dimensions. Let's say I want to measure uh, from this wall face to this wall face. I'm going to go to modify dimensions make sure it's always on aligned you're selecting aligned okay let me measure it from wall face to wall face now you have it and let's say i want to measure the height of this this kitchen counter it's the same thing it's very easy once you know the tricks to it all right now let's say i want to you see this is a 90 degrees angle right Let's say I want to measure that angle and show the, 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 the degree of the angle. I will just click on angular and go ahead. And there you have it. So let's say you want to move the test, the text, right, on the dimensions. You see this text is covering a part of the lamp and you cannot see it because it's, like, it's as if it has a color of its own. What you do first, if you want to move it, there is two options. The first one is to move it. If you want to move it, click on the dimension. There is a point here. You just move the text around to wherever you want it. However, it's still covering this line. Now you want, let's say you want this line to show what you have to do is click on the dimension, go to edit type, scroll down all the way until you see text background. Once you, need, you see text background, click on it, change it from opaque to transparent, and then apply. See, you can see the line behind. And if you want to move the text back, you just select and boom, that's it. The same goes for the text in here. You can move them wherever you want. And that's the same, pretty much the same process for the elevation too. I hope this one helped. Thank you for watching and that's it for today's tutorial.